Hey friends, just want to show you guys what I've been working on over the summer. It hasn't been much, but I've got a little bit done. Uh, a few steps forward and a couple of steps back. I kind of screwed up. Uh, when I was buying turnouts, I've always bought, I've always used Pico turnouts, and I've always used Inselfrog turnouts. But the other, I forgot, I haven't bought a turnout in like 15 years, and I forgot all about the differences of them. And uh, so I ended up with Electrofrogs. And I've got a couple of locomotives that keep shorting everything out when they roll through. And uh, I'm going to replace these turnouts eventually with uh, insole frogs. But before I do that, I just want to run trains. and uh, It'll be a little while before I can get to a hobby shop, a few weeks probably. But uh, until then, I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on the points to try and keep the um, keep things from shorting out so I'll let you have a look at that see I have the uh, insulation here and here insulated rail joiners but uh, it's still because this whole section is powered when the engines hit this it causes the short it kind of spans that gap for a second I think what I'm gonna I will eventually replace them but what I'm going to do, just so I can play trains for now, I'm going to uh, put a little dab of paint on there to hopefully keep them from uh, shorting it out. It's it's not every engine. It's just the I've got two Atlas locomotives that are doing it. Maybe the wheels are out of gauge. I don't know. But I've always used Insel Frog turnouts, and I think that's what I'll just replace these with, and maybe use these somewhere else where they uh, if, where they won't cause me any trouble. Hopefully, I can find a spot. These are these are the guys that I normally use. But I do finally have the uh, staging yards done. Well, I thought I was done. <laughs> I don't do a lot over the summer, but I do sometimes get down here and play. I would rather be outside for the most part until it gets too hot, but so. always time to play in the basement too. Something else I've been doing is I've been playing around with weathering. Now this is that uh, Chicago and Northwestern car that I got at the last train show. and. Uh, I know anything marked for Chicago Northwestern is going to be pretty beat up by now. And at first I thought that uh, I had gone too heavy, but I, I think I can go a little heavier on this. Maybe add some more rusted panels and stuff. And I've also been experimenting with weathering on these guys. It uh, doesn't look so good close up, but when you're a little further back, it's a lot better. I still have to weather the cars, but the containers I've been playing around with. And I picked up some of these uh, Jackson Terminal uh, containers. And yeah, they are just as gorgeous as I had seen on in the reviews. They were not cheap. I probably won't have a whole lot of them, but I had to get some. Uh, I really like the Canadian Tire containers, so... I had to get some. I know I will get a few more. I've been experimenting with uh, airbrushing the plaster just to get the, uh, just to, instead of brushing it, and I like the way it comes out better with the airbrush. This was brushed, but I'm obviously not finished with this. It was just an experiment, but I think I'm going to continue on with it needs a lot more work but anyway thanks for watching uh, if you want to follow along hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be able to see when I post updates hopefully it'll be more throughout the winter more interesting stuff too but we'll see anyway thanks for watching